Now, Crowdtangle is a social analytics tool owned by Facebook, and normally this is its main landing page where you have to have special permissions to log in. Um, but I want to show you their public live displays that everyone can access. Um, so it's a really quick and easy visual way to show how information on coronavirus is being spread on social media, and basically the collection work is done for you. You can see here that we've got the global display here and it breaks it up into the different regions. I've got Asia Pacific that I'm scrolling through now. So we'll take a look at the name of each of the column because the first one is always for that country's media. The second column, and these are Facebook mentions. So these are Facebook pages who have admins located in Australia or you know whichever country that you are um, logging into, okay? Now, the third column will move across to other political accounts. So these are the politicians and the political parties, um, our elected officials. Then we move across to column four, which has got a lot of different um, public service announcements and, and things here. You know, this is Australia in Hong Kong and Macau, these sorts of pages. You know, all um, live displays that you'll see will have the World Health Organization's regional accounts of Facebook. And then finally, the last column will show Instagram mentions um, on the public Instagram accounts that are mentioning COVID-19. Okay, so you might see that these columns have got different indicators here. So we've got most recent, most recent, and so on. So hot basically means that you know, this is prioritizing the order that um, you're wanting to see the posts. Hot has begun to prioritize posts that are overperforming most recently. So, um, you know, overperforming for this page. And we can see here um, by this indicator here that this is overperforming of 1.56 times more than its normal average. So here, you know, if you don't want hot, if you want to um, change these to overperforming, underperforming, the interactions um, and so forth, you can do that there. Um, it will revert back though to the default. Um, next time you log in or come into the page. Post type, if you want to look at photos, videos, and so forth. And there's another filter there for languages. Now, you might have seen before that if you hover over the posts, um, let's go up to this one. So if you hover over, it brings up this page transparency. We'll do it over here. Um, so you can see um, when the page was created, this one was back in 2010, um, if they've ever changed their name and also, um, you know, who manages the pages and where they are. So here it's managed in Australia. So there's plenty that you can um, dig around. You can click into onto these accounts um, and, and get into these accounts and start to see if there's a lot more that you're wanting to investigate.